All right, what is up beautiful people? I am aware that I probably look insane right now. I just showered. Um, I just got home from a very long day. So it's a great way to start prep. My first week on prep, I'm actually going out of town for like two days tomorrow, two, three days tomorrow. Yay. My athletes have nationals tomorrow and so I have to drive up to Tulsa. Um, so I'm going to prep all my food and I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I do it, what I use and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. All right, so I have salmon, and then this is what I use to season it, this stuff. I got it at um, Home Goods. It's amazing. Then I put a little bit of this on it. Just, I think I got this at Marshall's also. And then next to it, I have asparagus. Um, I put these three on it. Yes, I know it's ironic that this has no salt and I'm adding salt. Whatever, don't judge me. Um, but these three go on this. This is just the same thing there's a lot of it and then I have rice going and then my dog is very spoiled yep there he is that guy Here's Bo. look at that like look at that he's so spoiled but yes he eats bro meals so I have to uh, make chicken for him because I'm going out of town and so I have to prep his meals so that he gets fed but yeah the oven is on 425 and so basically what I do, oh yeah, it's hot, so this went up. Um, what I do with the food is, so I know since the asparagus is really, really thin, uh, it's going to go in the oven for maybe like 10 minutes since it's so high. And then I will take the asparagus out and then I will leave the salmon in for another six minutes. And then by the time I get that off and out, the chicken will be done because it only needs to uh, boil for 20 minutes. And then the rice, I don't have to worry about because it's a rice cooker, it's made to do that. And then when all of that is done cooking, I will come back and kind of show you how I get it all ready and separated and portioned out and all that fun stuff. See you soon. Okay, so this is what I did while the food was cooking. The salmon has like two more minutes, uh, but what I did was I went ahead and set up. These are the baggies I'm going to use, if you can see them. And then I have all of my tubware set up. So I have one for breakfast. I'm going to make it in the morning. I have two for a certain meal. I know I'm going to eat twice tomorrow um, or twice over the next two days. And then I have this one that I will be eating only on Friday. And then I have these two that for sure will be eaten tomorrow and Friday. And then this one's only on Friday also. And so the way I kind of figure out my meal plan is like tomorrow I'm leaving around like 11 or noon, I know I'll get three meals in. I know I'll eat breakfast, so I'm gonna make my breakfast in the morning when I make that one. And then I have my second meal will be eaten and my pre-workout and even my post-workout will be eaten tomorrow um, before I even leave. So that's four meals. So that only leaves me two meals that I'll need to eat, which is perfect. And, uh, or three actually, but it's just my protein powder. Um, so I'll just take that like in the tub and then I'm just gonna have a jar of peanut butter with me because why wouldn't I? Um, and then I have everything around me set up. So I have, I need my green veggies here. I have that ready. I know I'll need these, my avocados. I'll need blueberries, yogurt. I'll need almonds, my veggies. And then so I basically just have everything around me and then the scale is right in the middle. I have it all set up. Oh, if you can see it, it's all set up like this. I have the rice right over here and then more asparagus and then the salmon is just about done. So then that way I can kind of just grab it right there. I'm not constantly having to go back and forth. And then the scale's right in front of me so I can put it on there, weigh it out, get it done. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, I am all done now. Um, these are all the meals. This is for my breakfast. I'm gonna cook the rest of it in the morning. Post-workout, my avocados. I go ahead and cut them. I don't know if you can see it. I don't even see it. Um, I go ahead and cut them, so that way I don't have an excuse not to be able to eat them. I can just open them and scoop it out. And then these are my condiments. Yes, I get ranch. I get one serving of it with one meal. So I'm taking my scale so I can weigh that. 
And then so yeah, this is it. It's gonna go in the fridge for in the morning. Um, dog's meals are prepped right here. Um, yes, I know for any dog people or animal people, I know that's not a lot of food for him. He has a very bad stomach issue. This is doctor's orders, very low food right now. Uh, only chicken and rice, no fats, along with his medicine. Um, even with this diet and the medicine, he still gets sick a lot. So we're still trying to figure out what it is. So yes, please don't say anything about the food. I'm aware that he's not getting all the nutrients he needs. Okay, thanks. Um, and then this is the rest of his chicken, just in case he's super hungry, he gets a snack on it. And yeah, we're done. We're done. And look, it's cleaned up already. Like, well, except for the trash. Don't like that. But yes, all clean. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to do a ab workout and some cardio. So I'm going to show you all that tomorrow. And then I might talk to you all on the drive. So yeah, good night. I'm going to go to bed because I have been up since 7 and it's midnight. And I worked an 8-hour day on my feet in a gym that's 80-something degrees. And I'm tired. And I want to go to sleep. So good night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay guys, so I just got to my hotel. I don't know if you can hear me, the TV's on and it's kind of loud. Um, I am sitting down and eating my first meal, or well, my first meal here. Um, it's currently 2.50, my room's not ready yet, so I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna eat this. I have my salmon, veggies, rice, and ranch. Um, I brought my food scale, the ranch is in there. Um, even with all of that prepping, I forgot my avocados. I, 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 don't, I don't have anything to say. Um, but yeah, I forgot my avocados, so I'm gonna find another fat source. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this because I'm starving. I need to drink a bunch of water, and then hopefully my room's ready soon because I gotta get going to the convention center soon. Uh, so yeah, there's my update. I'm hoping to get a quick ab and cardio session in, so I will see you guys soon. What is up guys? I am back from Tulsa. I got back this morning. It's been great. The drive was terrible, um, but I missed home, so I'm glad to be home. I'm about to go hit a workout. Sorry, I've been slacking on my YouTube a little bit. I should have posted on Thursday. I edited it. I got it all together, got it ready. Didn't have Wi-Fi at the hotel, couldn't post it, and it was like midnight when I was trying to post it, I think. Like 11 or midnight, I can't remember, somewhere in that time frame. So I didn't have anywhere I could go to post it to find Wi-Fi. So I just didn't post it, didn't get home till this morning, so haven't had Wi-Fi till now. And I went to upload it, and I just had a feeling that it wasn't good. And so I went and rewatched it, and it's just something that I really didn't want on my channel. You know, you could tell that I kind of half-assed it. I um, Some of the footage was really crappy. Like, the, there was a, a setting wrong with my camera. So whenever I went to, I got to the hotel, all of my clips are blue. Like, I look like a Smurf. And the angles are terrible, and everyone's like, so, you should still post it. Um, it's not something that I want to put my name on. It just, it didn't look good. It looked very lazy and very not well put together. So, I'm going to go record an ab workout for you guys, which is what was, I, what I had put in the other video is a hit and ab circuit. Um, so, I'm just going to go re-record that, get better angles, better lighting, just put more effort into it. And then... I feel kind of lost with this prep series already, like it's the second video. I don't know what to post, and so if you guys, if there's anything you want to see in the prep series, put it below. If there's not anything specific, then I'll just kind of figure it out on my own, which is completely fine. It's my channel. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I have the first half of the, I'm just going to leave the first half. It's just the meal prep stuff, as you've probably already seen, and then, or I don't know where I'm going to put this clip, maybe at the beginning. We'll see, but yes, so I'm keeping the meal prep stuff in here, and then I'm going to just, instead of showing you what I did at the hotel, I'm just going to do it at my normal gym, so I'm going to go get that done. I have errands to run, and then, yeah, I'm about to eat my pre-workout meal. I'll actually, I'll just show you that. Um, this is my house. So this is pre-workout. This is my six pack bag container. I absolutely love it. I need a spoon. And so yeah, it doesn't look the prettiest. I have blueberries, almonds, and then there's Greek yogurt. You can kind of see it there. Yes, so I'm gonna devour that. Um, with the Greek yogurt, I put about two packets of Splenda in there just to make it a little bit sweeter. 
because I don't like plain Greek yogurt and that's what my coach has me eating for pre-workout. So I'm going to eat this and get moving. So I will see you guys in a little bit with the um, ab and hit circuit. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> 